Oh, no, good day, folks. It's uh, great to have you back here with Where Are You Now? And we've got Jared Lees. And some of you children might know Jared because he actually works at our school sometimes teaching saxophone. But, Jared, you've probably had one of the most interesting lives uh, that I've seen because uh, I taught you back when you went to primary school here, which was quite a while ago, I guess, was it? You, can you remember how long ago? I first met you in 1988. 1988, was in... unbelievable. Yeah, that was the, the year Rose won the premiership. So that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so Jazz, you were, you were a fantastic student at school and into everything too, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I um, I loved being at Rosebud and there was so many activities that you could um, get into. That There was a great sports program and a great music program. And yeah, I took advantage of of all the activities that were available. Yeah, and of course, the music program, Mr. Bogue is a bit of a legend. Uh, he sort of probably, did he get you playing the saxophone or was that sort of uh, just something you loved? Absolutely. I, uh, I remember uh, sitting at an assembly when I was young and I saw some grade six kids up on stage playing saxophone and I said to myself, I that's what I want to do. And um, so the next day I went and saw Mr. Bogue and, um, and yeah, he put me on my way to um, being able to play saxophone and that's, uh, I've made a career out of it. Yeah, and it's a career and a half too. You're one of the most famous saxophonists, I suppose, in Australia. They, they sort uh, of fly you all around the world, don't they? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's been good. I've, I get to travel the world doing what I love doing, performing. Um, yeah, it's great. Not doing much travelling at the moment, obviously, but... Uh, but yeah, no, I'm very lucky. Very lucky. What about some of the, uh, you know, going through secondary school and that? How did you go with, with your music through secondary school? Uh, again, there was a great music program um, in, in secondary school and um, lots of bands to play in. And um, yeah, so it was... So was that at all, Rosebud or...? Yeah, at, Rose, at Rosebud, Rosebud Secondary. That, yeah, and yeah. did you play in the, uh, what was that, um, not the jazz band? Stage, what was, yeah, the sorry? stage band. Yeah, in the stage band. Yeah, yeah. And we, uh, yeah, got to perform a lot and, and travel around with that as well. Yeah. So then after um, secondary, did you go to uni or, or straight into teaching sax? No, I went to, went to Melbourne Uni and studied music there as well. And, um, yeah, and, and on the side, I was also teaching saxophone um, to, to primary school kids. I was, started teaching saxophone at Rosebud Primary School in 2000. Yeah, so you've so, been there nearly as, as teaching nearly as long as me, is that right? <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost, half yeah. as long anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was a terrific thing to do while you were going to uni too, I suppose, Jared, because you earned a bit of money and, and been able to subsidise yeah. your uni career. Yeah. yeah, a lot of my other um, friends were working in cafes and not sort of making not as much money as... Yeah. Uh, I was doing from teaching, so yeah, was very yeah, lucky. So good old Mr. Bogue, he, he really got you going. And then Look, after yeah. uni, I suppose some of the incredible gigs, I've seen some of them on YouTube, but what are, what are some of the highlights of your uh, musical career? Well, you know, I've traveled all around the world and I always take my saxophone with me. Um, what Probably my personal highlight was when I went to, to Cuba and I took my saxophone and ended up playing with all these um, local Cubans in the street, just playing jazz music in the street, just having a jam session with them. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And um, they invited me to play with them. So that was pretty special. Um, or I've done jam sessions in New York City, um, that kind of thing, or played in London, in, in Paris, all around the world. Um, and then sometimes People get married overseas, so they fly me over to perform at their weddings. So, oh, yeah, I've been very lucky with travel and music. What about who's the most famous person that you've performed with or a couple? I was thinking about this um, the other day. Zach. I, I didn't actually perform with this person, but I was performing at a party that this person was at, and that person was Justin Bieber. What? Justin Bieber was in the, was in the audience, yeah. was he? He was at the party that I was performing at, yeah. So I thought <laughs> that's probably one that... That all the kids will know who he is. Yeah, yeah fantastic. And I've seen you on stage with some pretty famous singers and things like that. 
How many people, what's the most people you've performed in front of, do you reckon? Uh, I've done some big uh, outdoor festivals, probably uh, maybe 20,000 to 50,000 kind of people. Um, performed this year up uh, at the, uh, the Mardi Gras in Sydney and they had half a million people in the street watching that as I was on a float um, performing on that. <laughs> that's amazing. So I, that, I reckon yeah. that's a pretty incredible feat for a little bloke from Rosebud Primary School to be performing in front of half a million people. Yeah, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, yeah. Yeah. Right, I mate. Well, it would be remiss of me if we didn't finish with a bit of a performance. So uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's absolute gold listening to you play. And it's an incredible privilege that we were able to get you here to teach some of our children too. So uh, thanks heaps, mate. No worries. Taking the time and uh, we'll uh, go out with a bit of a performance. Yeah, I've chosen a song hopefully that all the kids will kids will um, will know pretty well. So, yeah, enjoy. Righto. Thanks, mate. Bye.